Numbskull Designs was kind enough to send me their latest product, a quarter scale replica of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade machine, which was originally released in 1989. They also made Turtles in Time, if that's more your vibe. They call these little machines quarter arcades because they're a quarter size replica of the original arcade machines. The maker of these quarter arcades, Numbskull, worked closely with Konami themselves to make sure that they got everything right. They wanted to make sure that they paid attention to every little detail so that these machines would look and play as close to the original coin-op arcades as possible. I love that the side art and marquee are just like the original arcade so it looks pretty cool displayed in a game room. What I really like is that the marquee and coin slots illuminate when the machine is turned on. It just looks awesome. The game supports up to 4 players, which may sound a little funny given the miniature size of the machine, but since USB controllers are available, it's totally doable. The quarter arcade has 4 USB ports on the front to support the controllers. Or you can snuggle up to some friends and try to get everyone to play on mini joysticks on the control panel. That could be a fun and possibly awkward challenge. There have been other quarter arcade machines in the past, like Dig Dug and Space Invaders, but these Turtles machines feature the largest display screen yet at 6 inches with a 4-3 ratio. It's also the first to feature a CRT lens, which makes it feel more like the original. It's powered by USB-C and has a rechargeable battery. So now let's talk about the game itself. It's a classic Konami side-scrolling beat-em-up from the golden age of arcades. You can choose your favorite turtle to play as on the select screen. Your mission is to save your reporter pal, April O'Neil, who has been kidnapped by Shredder and you fight various enemies, mostly members of the Foot Clan throughout the game. But you'll also see Roadkill Rodneys, Bebop and Rocksteady, as well as Baxter Stockman, just to name a few. Since this is based on the popular cartoon series of the time, I think they do a good job of giving players everything they'd want to see in a TMNT game. They even have Krang and his Rock Warriors, which the first NES game was lacking. This is the arcade version of the game, so you don't get the extra two levels that the NES port of the game added. But that's okay because these games can get monotonous if they go on for too long. Honestly, the best part about side-scrolling beat-em-ups like this is playing them with friends. And the fact that you can play this with controllers plugged in makes this doable. It is true though that beat-em-ups can become boring if you're playing them alone and just endlessly fighting the same type of enemy over and over. That's the good thing about the first TMNT game on the NES. That game varies up the gameplay with levels that are more like mazes and a variety of sub-weapons that keep it more interesting. There's also more enemy variety. At the time of this video, TMNT the arcade game is not yet available to play on the Mr. device, so it's a nice one to have available, if you don't want to just use MAME. For this, they are using the original arcade ROM and it's running on an emulator by Numskull. And to be real, even if you just got this as a room decoration and didn't really play it much, it's still a really cool thing to display in a gaming room. You can get yours at quarterarcades.com and thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!